my friends around here welcome back to runner's corner with me is claire claire welcome back to the channel how is it going and how was your Every, weekend everything is great i um you know i've been trying to get settled back into a little bit of a routine <laughs> when you're away for a long time it's like oh my gosh I've got this long list of things that I've I've got to kind of get back into you know my sauna my red light therapy my cryotherapy and doing my grocery shopping and picking all of my you know things to make and <laughs> then get back to training and figure out how I'm going to squeeze in all of my training so but yeah. I love it I love being busy and having um having that as part of my life and stuff to look forward to we're at that time of year right yep. now where, you know, Thanksgiving's around the corner and we're on runner's corner. So no pun intended and talking about herbs and spices, all the kind of good things that we can add to our, our meals to uh, just enhance the flavors. And I wanted to kind of turn the turn it over to you, Claire, to kind of take it away and let us know about herbs and spices. <laughs> I'd love to share. Um, so I wanted to kind of go over one more time just the importance of having antioxidants um, sort of in your meals or snacks pretty much throughout the day. It's really important also to kind of get ahead of of your antioxidant load because you may be having a meal and you may be going out somewhere where you're eating a lot of fried food and what have you and you don't have access to you know, a bowl of berries or something afterwards. So you can even kind of get ahead of it with some healthy foods in advance, as well as using herbs and spices in teas or on dishes or even on, you know, roasted nuts. I make a dish over the holidays where I put a lot of herbs and spices on nuts that I roast in the oven, and that's going to have a really high antioxidant um, profile. So Herbs and spices, I just don't want people to forget about them. I no, absolutely. Okay. I did something similar uh, with uh, Halloween. Uh, Jen had a, a really good um, idea of, of, of doing the pumpkin seeds. And we took those pumpkin seeds and roasted them. And now I have them as quick snacks I, and I want to have. And they're actually really tasty. So kind I of a popcorn flavor. pumpkin seeds. What did yeah. you put on them? Did you have, do you have I, a recipe? Well, actually, you know what? I went to Trader Joe's and there's those 21 herb seasoning that they have. Oh, yeah. That's And I just use great. that. Yeah. And it works. Good. And it tastes, it gives that popcorn flavor, especially if you're like watching a movie or something like that. You can have some, some pumpkin seed with it. it. It's, it's great. I really enjoy it. And, uh, there's so many benefits with herbs and spices and how they can enhance the flavors of what we're cooking and maybe walk us through, some of your traditions and what you, you know, so maybe you can share some, some recipes, whatnot for us. Great. Well, um, I just kind of want to give you like a little bit of a list here yeah. because that might sort of trigger you or listeners to then want to try to add some of these into some of the recipes that they currently make. So kind of top of the list, which I was kind of surprised about is cloves. Cloves per teaspoon have 720 units of antioxidants, and that is huge. You're not necessarily going to put a whole teaspoon in a serving for yourself. You know, a recipe and even a pinch of it probably has a couple hundred units. Um, so definitely add cloves wherever you can. I, um, I just had a thought I was going to say something. Let me think about it for a second. I'll go back to it. But um, dried peppermint is going to be second on the list. That's 420 units. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Remember, in a previous episode, we chatted that you need to get every single day between 8,000 and 11,000 units of antioxidants daily. So mm -hmm. add that up, you know little pinch here, a little shake there is definitely going to contribute to your overall total. So we've got dried peppermint at 420 per teaspoon, lemon balm, which I tend to use in some chicken dishes that I've made, 326. Mm. We've got allspice at 260, marjoram at 240, which is kind of a good substitute for oregano, although oregano has 150, so it's still pretty potent. And cinnamon, 200. And I love to use cinnamon pretty much every single day in my coffee. I tell you, it's cinnamon's in everything. <laughs> <laughs> there we are with the cinnamon again. <laughs> yes. Um, 
other other heavy hitters on the list are going to be cilantro, turmeric, of course, and I put turmeric quite a bit in some soups that I make, as well as cocoa powder. We talked about the benefits of dark chocolate every single day. Parsley, basil, ginger, thyme, um, I'm you know chives, all anything, any kind of natural herb, um, preferably organic if you can, so it doesn't have pesticides and other things in it. But start adding those to some of your soups and stews and dishes, and um, and Thanksgiving is a really great place. I mean, oh my gosh, stuffing! I put in all kinds of sage and and thyme and you know a bouquet of all sorts of spices. So it's uh, it's really easy to add a lot if you think about it in advance as well. So as a runner, Claire, what are some of these benefits? Then to me, if I'm tuning in, I just clicked on our our thumbnail and listening to herbs and spices how is this going to benefit my running well it's not necessarily individual to running it's going to benefit anybody across the board herbs and spices are high in antioxidants antioxidants help reduce inflammation in our cells, which are created, inflammation is created by um, free radicals and oxidative stress. And the antioxidant then helps eliminate the oxidative stress, the free radicals. So think about it like how a car is resting. If you then polish the car or you have some sort of chrome polish, you can kind of get rid of the rust. It's not exactly like that, but the antioxidants definitely help help prevent your body from aging and from damage which is caused by inflammation which leads to um, any kind of inflammatory disease arthritis osteoporosis cancer heart disease stroke um, uh, just the list goes on dementia diabetes, Alzheimer's. So there's, it's just so important. And I think hopefully people will realize by listening to us talking about antioxidants, and it's not going to be the last discussion about it, difficult way to improve your health. And it's not, it's not hard. It's like, it's not like you have to go out and, and we're looking to have you do a a strenuous exercise program every single day. This is something that you can do every single day just by taking ingredients in your kitchen and just tossing something into a dish. So hopefully people will be inspired to, to start working a little bit more on including some of these things. Well, Claire, can you share with us a recipe, like uh, maybe go over some ingredients into something you mentioned stuffing. So can you share your, your Thanksgiving stuffing recipe with us so we can, Well, um, you know, just off the top of my head, it's going to be a sourdough bread because, again, it's a fermented bread as opposed to a bread that's not fermented. So I try to stick to only sourdough in pretty much everything that I make. And it, of course, has grass-fed butter and um, onions, I celery, um, as well as then the spices will be the sage, the thyme, the pepper. Um, I might put in some marjoram as well. And, um, and uh, I'm trying to think what else. Sometimes apples, but not usually. I tend to like it a little bit more savory. I don't put in as much sweet. But um, yeah. And then again, you're supposed to cook your stuffing not in the turkey. Although sometimes yeah, I yeah. cheat. My mommy says that she should bake the stuffing separately. So, um, yeah. so there is some scope for thought on that. Of, yeah. yeah. But anyway, I just think that for um, a day to day, I, you know, for day to day ideas, cinnamon in your coffee every single morning, add a little bit of, um, of uh, spices to a sandwich that you might be eating. It could be a, you sprinkle a little bit of oregano on top of it or, um, you know, a little bit of uh, chives or, or even I love broccoli sprouts. So those are going to be really high in antioxidants as well. And then when you're making dinner, again, if you've got a sweet potato, add a sprinkle of clove and cinnamon to it. I mean, and right there, mm-hmm. you're really adding a lot so just no, a couple awesome. simple, super quick ideas awesome off tip. the top of my head 
<laughs> and and you know, awesome tip, Claire. And you know, is uh, it's you know, I, I love you know being able to incorporate an actual recipe into some of our topics, and people can get a takeaway and say, oh, okay, this maybe I can try something like this You'll this year for, for exactly. There you go. And um, so, what's on the docket? Are you are you are you running this coming weekend? What do you what do you got going on? I am running this weekend. I want to kind of get a little bit of an assessment as to where my fitness is since I haven't been running yep. daily consistently for the last four weeks since my race. So I kind of want to get that assessment in and then figure out I'll sort of work on a training plan to get myself back up and running for my next race. How about well, you? There we go. And you know, for me, uh, when this when this airs uh, for our YouTube family, I would have just done the Mayberry uh, race. So we'll see how that worked out. I mean, I'll put a little little subtitle here to let everyone know how that went, and we'll see what happens with that. If it made my time or not, uh, future Ryan will decide that. And then, yep, yeah, just just gonna get ready for the next training block and. Um, I think we're doing a turkey trot uh, for the family of our own, so it's going to be super fun and uh, just crank that out and you know just enjoy the holidays with my beloved Jen and you know just my first holiday season where I'm not crazy busy running around uh, trying to put out fires or anything else here with work, so I'm just going to yes. sit back and yes. relax and enjoy the season as it should be. So that's the plan for yes. this one. So yeah. Yeah, that's that's the scoop. So, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to our episode on herbs and spices. And Claire, do you have anything else you'd like to add to kind of close out today's topic? Gosh, if anybody's got any recipes they want to share, we'd love to see them or any tips that they um, like to use with herbs and spices. Again, you know, even steeping some in a in a tea, in a green tea, wow, well, that would pack a powerful punch as well. So. Um, yeah, just uh, keep trying to little by little by little, just make small changes in your um, nutrition and you'll make a big impact over time. Perfect. Thanks, Claire. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in for today. Get outside, crush your goals, and we'll catch everyone next time on Runner's Corner.